Welcome to the world of chemistry, where everything matters because we study matter. In today's short video, we are going to uh, answer the question, what is chemistry? It's always very good as a young uh, individual, when you want to go into any business or any venture, you get a background knowledge of such. Irrespective of the magnitude of the background knowledge, irrespective of the quantity of the, of the, of the knowledge you have about it, there are still need for you to know something about what you want to go into. Therefore, in today's video, I want to answer the question, what is chemistry? What is chemistry? Now, looking around us, just take a look at the environment. You discover that the environment, the universe, is made up of different kinds of stuff. Stuffs in solid states and liquid states. Those you can feel that you may not actually be able to see. And this is what we call matter. It's matter. Matter has been defined as any substance that has mass and volume. And because we are in the universe, I mean we are in the earth here, there is no way you will mention mass and you will not talk about the weight because of acceleration due to gravity. Therefore, it will not be wrong for you to define matter. It's anything that has weight and can occupy space. Back to our elementary study uh, there in school, we are made to understand the three states of matter. And that is the solid state, the liquid state, and the gaseous state. These are the three states of matter. Which means any substance in either of these three states of matter is considered to be a a, a, a matter and we say chemistry is the study of matter taking a look at our environment what are those things we can see what are those things that we can touch what are those things that we can feel that is things like table chairs to cars even human beings if chemistry is the study of matter does that mean one day we will come to the class and say, today our uh, topic is water. We want to study water. Because water is a liquid thing. It can occupy a space. It has a weight. It can be represented in volume. It can be measured in volume. Now, we say one day we will bring Carl to class and say, today in chemistry, because we want to study matter. We want to study Carl. And so on. Well, the simple answer to that is yes and no. Yes, in the sense that in chemistry, we study composition of matter. Composition of matter. Composition of matter. In chemistry, we study composition of matter. That is, the structure of that matter, of the stuff of things around us. We look into it and study the structure. What does it make up? How does it look like? In answering the question, how does it look like? Then we talk about its structure. Structure. Talk about the structure. In looking at the structure, that means we are talking about its composition. And that means we are talking about how does it look like. So chemistry. In chemistry, we study composition of matter. And the study of matter is chemistry. Likewise, we look and study the properties of matter, properties of matter. That is the reaction, reactivity of substance, of matter, of atom, of compound. How does atom behave? How, what are the likely reactions? That you get when you add this to this and like like that. What are those things that will come as a product? What will be the end result of reacting some things with that? So we talk about reactivity, substances, matter, reaction. So when you are talking about reaction of 
substances, reaction of atoms, reaction of metal, reaction of matter. Then we are talking about properties of matter. And in studying properties of matter, we are talking about studying of matter, and that is chemistry. And as well, we talk about the uses of matter. Knowing what the properties of matter are, that is, you have known when you add this to this, you get a product, you get something formed. Then, the product you form, what are you going to use them for? So, uses of matter, that is chemistry, the study of uses of matter. So, in a simple term, just for you to be able to get it as a recap, we say chemistry. Is the study of CP U. C is angle of composition, which is the structure that is how does it look like? Property for B, which is talking about the reactivity that is the reaction of matter and the uses of matter. Therefore, it's better put as chemistry is the branch of science that studies the composition. Structure, property, reaction, and uses of matter. Thank you.